we do yeah. some songs and we warm up our senses. That's right. And if you're new to Tinker Garden Live, we think about seven senses at Tinker Garden. And we're going to do a rhyme with our bodies and our words. And I'll show each line and my explorers will show the line too. And before we get started, I just want to say I'm Megan Fitzgerald. I'm the co-founder of Tinker Garden and I have three explorers here with me. You guys, can you give a wave and hi. say hi? And we're going to help you play today and we're so grateful you're with us. Plus, behind the camera we have Brian, who is co-founder and Tinker Garden dad. And Josh, our videographer, and, oh, and we're ready to warm up our senses. So here's how it goes. I'll do each line and I'll show you the movements and then yeah. you can do it too with Maeve and Ivy and Will. You ready? Okay. So we always start out with this same way. And if you want to find the words on our blog, you can find them. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. We open our eyes to look around. We open our eyes to look around. We tune in our ears to hear some sounds. We tune in our ears to hear some sounds. Open our noses, smell the spring. Open our noses, smell the spring. Warm up our hands to feel everything. Warm up our hands to feel everything. Spin in circles, bending down. Spin in circles, bending down. Move our muscles, jump around. Move our muscles, jump around. Open our mouths to take a taste. Open our mouths to take a taste. But only when the tasting safe. But only when the tasting safe. That's right. And we've warmed up our senses, and now we're going to sing the song that we sing at every Tinker Garden session all over the world. The goodbye the song. Tinker Garden Not song. Not yet the goodbye song, but we will sing that too. The Come to Tinker, Tinker Garden, Garden song. song. And we're going to start out with the verse that most friends have asked for in the 10 weeks we've run this. And that's the verse that most people who come to our Tinker Garden classes learn for the very first time. And that is, get your wings ready, sparrow. sparrow. And the words go like this. Sparrow, sparrow, time to fly through the meadow, through the sky. Sparrow, sparrow, time to fly, come to Tinker Garden. So do you have your wings ready? Oh, and Will, you like to do come to Tinker Garden like this? No. Come to Tinker Garden. I found this. Come to Tinker Garden. I found okay. this. Oh, and we found something. Are you ready to sing the sparrow verse with us? Mm -hmm. Do you have your sparrow wings ready? Okay, here we go. Sparrow, sparrow, time to fly through the meadow, through the sky. Sparrow, sparrow, time to fly. Come to Tinker Garden. Excellent. Do you want to try it one more time? Let's yeah. get our sparrow wings really ready. And you can fly as far as you want. Are you ready? Sparrow, sparrow, time to fly Through the meadow, through the sky Sparrow, sparrow, time to fly Come to Tinker Garden And again, we asked all of you out there on Facebook to tell us which animal you wanted us to sing about this week. And the winner is... Dolphins. dolphins! Right, and we had such a wonderful time researching dolphins. They're amazing creatures. Will, what did you learn about dolphins that you think is really exciting? I know two things that I learned about dolphins. Two things. What'd you learn? One, when they, if they go into like a ship, um, shipwreck, and if there's a mirror, they can know that it's them, not another dolphin. So dolphins are smart enough to know that their reflection in a mirror is themselves, not a different dolphin. Unlike that's amazing. most animals. And that's not true of most animals. What else did you learn about dolphins? Well, I learned that when there's a school of fish nearby, um, yeah, the dolphins, like, they all start going around the school of right. fish, and then the school of fish goes into, like, a tornado, kind of, and then they have to, like, bring it up into the surface, and then some fish um, like need gills, and when they go into the in the air too long, they dry out, and then they can eat their fish. So lots of smart ways that dolphins catch fish to eat. Really smart animals. What else did you learn about dolphins? Well, I learned that we we really need to help dolphins because whenever we use a bunch of trash, it floods the oceans, and it really it kills all the dolphins, and it makes it really hard for them to survive. So everyone can help by recycling and buying things that are reusable instead of plastic waste. Excellent. And also we learned that dolphins make friends, really good buddies, and they love their friends. And the first, and they jump around and play a lot. Like and they that. jump and they swim really fast. So we're going to move our bodies. We're going to jump and swim yeah. like dolphins. 
And here are the words we're going to use for dolphins. Are you ready? Dolphins, dolphin, in the sea, swimming quickly, swim to me. Dolphins, dolphins, in the sea, come to Tinker Garden. Are you ready? Come to Tinker Garden. Are you ready? Okay, so get your dolphin nose ready. We're going to jump and swim. Ready? Dolphin, dolphin, in the sea, swimming quickly, swim to me. Dolphin, dolphin, in the sea, come to Tinker Garden. Great job! We're going to do it one more time. Are you ready? Ready? Dolphin, dolphin, in the sea, swimming quickly, swim to me. Dolphin, dolphin, in the sea, come to Tinker Garden. Excellent! Well, what else do we do at Tinker Garden? Make mud faces. We play! And what are we going to do today? We're going to make mud faces! Or you can make Play-Doh faces or forest putty faces. We're going to make faces with and I'll show you how we're going to do it. No. We are going to make faces using mud and we're going to put our faces on the trees. But you know what we're going to think about when we make our faces? We're going to think about how we're feeling. Will, how are you feeling today? A little bit annoyed and angry. Will woke up a little bit angry today. Can everyone make an angry face? <laughs> and how do you feel today? I feel like okay. I mean, it's really warm out, but I don't feel the best. Yeah, Maeve's feeling like it's warm, but how are you feeling in your heart? Uh, fine. Fine, I'm pretty happy, and I'm feeling really happy today because all of our friends have come to watch us. So we all have different feelings in our hearts, so while we make faces, we'll think about how we're feeling inside and think about our emotions. So, but let's get to making. What should we start with, everybody? Um, maybe the mud. <gasps> so we made some great mud. Maeve, why don't you show everybody our mud? We made mud with just dirt and water, and then we you mixed can't... it all together, and it was mud. And we have some treasures, all kinds of treasures that we collected from around. Some shiny treasures from inside our house. What else do we have? We have some flowers and some cool leaves of different varieties and rocks. And Ivy's really excited to tell us how she feels today. Ivy, can you and stand up so friends? Oh, and we have some walnuts in our yard. Ivy, tell our friends how you're feeling today. Hot and great spirited. Hot and great spirited. Well, Ivy's going to think about how she feels and Will and Maeve as we make our mud faces. Should we get started? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the first step, everybody, is to get a handful of mud. And you might want to warm up your mud hands, especially if mud feels like a lot to your hands. So you can rub your hands together and warm up your mud hands so they're really ready for the mud. And you can put it in a ball. And you can make a ball. Do you want to show everybody how you do that? I so need a little take, more. Like, you just take like this mud and yeah. you squeeze it like this. And you can like roll it on your hand until it makes sort of a ball shape. That's right. And it really helps to pack it into a ball. And then the big moment is to plop it on the tree. And you can see Ivy tried that and it mm. fell down. And we're going to try and give her another plop because you really have to plop. And I think we should count to three and plop at the same time. Because you have to plop really hard. And sometimes a grown-up can be really helpful with this. Are you ready? One, One two, two, three. No! Do you want to do your own plop? Uh -huh. Okay, let's make you a bug. I, Beck? I didn't want to do your own plop. Show us the Who would you like to have do your plop? Do you want me to do it? Do you want mom to do it or do you want to do it? Can you do it right now? Absolutely. You show me where you want it to go. Do you want to put that mud with this mud? And sometimes Let's combine them. Where do you want to put it? And you can see Maeve and, and Will are kind of pressing it in there. Where would you like your face? Right there? Okay, can you one, two, three for me? One, two, three, four. Oh, four, even better. <laughs> so now we've got some mud and what can we what do we need to make it a face though, everybody? Well, we need some materials. We need materials to do what? Make it a face. Well, what does a face have? Feelings or emotions. You can show your emotions using what? Your eyes, eyes and your, your nose, mouth. your mouth. So everyone's going to start to add treasures. And I'll stand and watch. This is the, my favorite part. When these mud balls become friends on the trees with feelings and faces. Here we go, all sorts of treasures. And where did we collect these treasures, guys? Just in our yard, and you don't have to collect them outside. You can collect them inside, too. You could. Uh, we have lots of small objects inside, don't we? And 
sometimes mud falls down and sometimes you reshape it. But if you press hard, a lot of treasures stick right in there. Good job, everybody. There you go. Does anybody want some help or are you? No? I need help. Yeah, I'd love to help. How can I help you? And while my friends are working, you can do this at home, inside. Mm -hmm. You can do this in your yard, on a tree, or on the ground. We've even done this on boards or on plates. We've used food. Beef. We've used forest putty and Play-Doh. We made one of those. And we made a special one to show you up close. Can I so friends, let's put a few more things on our faces. We can always finish them after our Tinker Garden Live when all of our friends go to play too. Why don't we put one more thing on our faces and then come and show everybody the face we made together. But I need hair. Okay, once you're done with your hair, are you ready? Wait, Maybe you ready. and Will can hold it together. And mud face making can last all day long. Yeah. Will, you, you ready to show right this? Now. Okay, Maeve's gonna show us this face we have up close that we made. We all worked together on it. And what is this face feeling, you guys? It's feeling very happy because it has nice big eyes and a bunch of flowers and a huge smile. And we were talking about a feeling that gave us a lot of happiness. And that is that we're feeling so grateful for all of our friends who've joined us these 10 weeks of Facebook Live. And we want to say, we're going to take a break in our mud face making to say some thank yous. Are you ready? You guys ready? We've also been looking into how different people all around the world know how to say thank you. And last week we practiced saying thank you using American Sign Language. So thank you to all of our friends who've been playing with us. And Ivy's going to show one. Ivy, if how you do you can say see it? it. Do you remember how you say this one? Merci. So this is how you would say thank you in France, in French, all around the world where people speak French. Um, this is Chinese, and it's It's thanks, thanks. That's right. And, yeah, uh, Will has been practicing one that he wants to share with you, and he's still learning it, but he's really excited about how beautiful the letters are. Um, well, it's Arabic. And can you show it over here? Thanks. That's right. This says thanks in Arabic, and you can say it shukran, right? Shukran. Yeah, and we're still learning, but we want to say in every way we possibly can, mm -hmm. thank you thank to a you. whole bunch of friends out there who've come to join us every week for 10 and weeks. Whether this is your first week or your 10th week or anywhere in between, you it's meant so much to us and our family and to our Tinker Garden community that we get to get together and play. And we also have a few people we want to thank from our Outdoors All Four Facebook group and from who are so generous sharing their ideas and their support and we put all of the people who've posted the most into a hat and we're going to do a little quick drawing for those friends and ivy are you going to ring the bell yeah ivy's going to ring the bell and Maeve and will are going to pick out the names from the hat and we're going to pick 10 friends for each of the 10 weeks to thank and buy a send a special one of our favorite joy books to you one, this two, week three, go. okay ready okay wait till we say the names okay guys you can pick Oh, thank you, Aaron Hines. You want to ring? Michael White. Michelle White. White. Thank you, Michelle White. You want to pick one? Mm. Trisha Nelson. Emma Trisha. Garner. Emma Garner. Mm. Thank you, Emma and family. Trisha Nelson. Trisha Nelson. Thank you, Trisha. Ring the bell. I see that. Olivia Wilson. Olivia Wilson. Thank you, Olivia. Bernadette Marie. Oh, and the jumping explorers in their capes. I'll never forget that video. Kate, Kate Ice. Ice. Thank you, Kate Ice and your explorer. Carrie Shepard. Oh, Carrie, right around the corner from us here in and Western one Mass. One Sarah Sarah Shenneman, and we can pick two more. And Tori Dawes. Thank you, Tori. Oh, and Lindsay Shepard and her boys. Thank you for thank you those so 10 friends, but thank you to everybody out there. And a very special thank you to one person in particular, Erica Micklemore, 
who many of you know as a leader, many of you know in our Facebook group as an administrator. Erica is one of the most empathetic people we know and cares so much. And all of you, thank you so much thank for you. 10 incredible weeks and for being part of our Tinker Garden family. And Outdoors All Four is a great, even if you're not on Facebook, it's worth getting on there for the support and the generative and generosity. But thank you just for playing and for being outside. And we wish you all weeks and weeks of play. We'll see you soon. And thanks everybody. We have new and exciting things coming from Tinker Garden at Home and we'll be using our time to make those happen. So stay tuned. Thanks everybody. Goodbye.